we're going to continue on with our calculating of area. Area of parallelograms, it's base times height. Basically, what happens on a parallelogram is if you take this part right here, actually this part right here that I colored in, and you cut it off and tape it right here, it now becomes a rectangle. So your rectangle is now here to here to here. But in order, but you don't always just have scissors and you don't always do that. And so it's the same formula as a rectangle. And then your base um, is one, two, three, four, five. And your height is one, two, three. And so it's 15 units squared. So this is your base, one, two, three, four, five. And then remember perpendicular is a height, one, two, three, four, which is four. So base times height is five times four, which is 20 square units. And I can write unit squared or square units. Here, Pretend you pick this piece up, cut it off, stick it over here, it becomes a rectangle. Your base is one. Your base is not one. Your base is three, because this comes over here, and your height is three, and so it's base times height, which is three times three, which is nine units squared. Cut that off, swing it over here, this is your base, this is your height, one, two, three, four, two, base times height, four times two, eight units squared. So notice what I'm showing you is the formula, the filled in numbers, and the answer with your correct units. Because if I'm doing perimeter, I get units. Oops, sorry. If I do area, I have units squared. And if I'm talking about volume, I have units cubed. And so sometimes in problems, if they talk about units, you know, you're, you're talking about perimeter. And then, and this is a string. And this is square units, which means we're doing this, putting squares on everything. Okay, so here's the area. I'm going to perpendicular. Cut that off and put it here. So this is one, two, three, four times two, base times height, four times two, eight units squared. Um, here, this is the perpendicular. And then this is the, this is the height, one, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the height, base times height, seven times one, seven units squared. They're not always going to be on the grid. What you're going to look for is you're going to look for a base and a height. And remember that the height is perpendicular. So this is my height, base times height. <laughs> that was my puppy's knows he jumped up on my desk to come see everybody and this is the height so it's perpendicular which is six times four feet squared Ooh, sorry which is 24 feet <laughs> squared find the perpendicular measurement that's your height perpendicular to the base which is base times height, which is five times three, which is 15 centimeters squared. Find your perpendicular, that's your height, perpendicular to two, so base times height is seven times two, which is 14 yards squared. 
And that is how you find the area of parallelograms.